10 ATP and WTA players right now. Who's on top? The ATP and WTA tours have seen some exciting developments in the world of tennis recently. From young up-and-coming stars to seasoned veterans, the top 10 ATP and WTA players include some of the most talented and competitive players in the sport today. So in this video, we will count down the top 10 ATP and WTA players right now. First, let's look at the women's game and count down the, the top 10 WTA players. Number 10, Petra Kvitova. Currently the world number 10 by the WTA. Kvitova is a Czech professional tennis player known for her extremely powerful left-handed ground strokes and variety. She first made waves back in 2009 by defeating the former world number one Dinara Safina during the third round of the US Open. Since then, she won Wimbledon in 2011 and 2014 and has amassed 30 singles titles and a bronze medal in singles. Number nine, Daria Kasatkina. Next on our list is Daria Kasatkina, who was born to athletic parents. Her parents were nationally ranked in ice hockey and athletics. She started playing tennis at the young age of six and reached number 32 in the world ranking by the time she was 18 years old. The former tennis player and famous Belgian tennis coach, Wim Fassette, has even called Daria the Roger Federer of women's tennis. Number eight, Maria Sakkari. Greek player Maria has been ranked as high as world number three and is known for her aggressive all-court style of play. Growing up, she idolized Rafael Nadal, Roger Federer, and Serena Williams. Maria was introduced to tennis at the age of six and won one singles title at the 2019 Morocco Open. She again impressed the world in 2021 by reaching the semifinals at the French Open. Number seven, Ons Jabeur. Ons Jabeur. Ons is a Tunisian professional tennis player who has made a name for herself in the women's tennis circuit in recent years. Jabeur started playing tennis when she was three years old and had already won her first national title by the time she was eight. She became a professional in 2010 and she steadily climbed the rankings. At the Kremlin Cup in Moscow in 2018, Jabur made it to her first WTA final before falling to Daria Kasatkina. Jabur has since made major improvements in her game and accomplished some remarkable milestones. Jabur progressed to the last eight of the Australian Open, becoming the first Arab woman to do so in a Grand Slam event. Number six, Elena Rybakina. Noted for her excellent serve and high-powered ground strokes, Elena is a Kazakh player who has made a name for herself in professional tennis. After winning a grade A title at the Trofeo Bonfilio back in 2017, she went on to climb the world rankings steadily. Today, she is the Kazakhstani number one in women's singles and number six in WTA ranking. Number five, Coco Gauff. Inspired by the Williams sisters, Coco Gauff decided to play tennis after experimenting with a variety of sports. After making her WTA Tour debut in 2019, she kept improving herself and reached her first major final in women's doubles at the US Open in 2021. She has won three WTA Tour singles during her career and started her 2023 season at the Auckland Open. She has been a consistent performer and is known for her smart moves on the court. She was born in March 2004 and is 19 years of age. Number four, Caroline Garcia. Caroline Garcia is a French professional tennis player who was ranked as high as number two in the world in doubles and number four in singles. Garcia began her career as a professional in 2011, but her breakout year came in 2017. In that year, she won two singles championships and five doubles championships, including the women's doubles at the French Open alongside Kristina Miladinovic. In October 2018, her dominance on the doubles circuit raised her to the top of the WTA doubles rankings. Garcia has been a consistent performer, regularly reaching the later rounds of major tournaments. Number three, Jessica Pegula. Jessica Pegula became a professional in 2013 and has since gradually advanced up the WTA tour rankings. She beat former world number one Victoria Azarenka and Alina Svitolina to advance to the Australian Open quarterfinals in 2021, where she lost to Jennifer Brady. Pegula's breakthrough came during the 2021 WTA 500 tournament in Dubai when she won her maiden WTA singles championship after defeating many strong competitors. She has a career-high win-loss record of 358 to 221 and has won two WTA singles titles. 
She has also had success in doubles, reaching the semifinals of the U.S. Open in 2021 with partner Asia Mohammed. Number two, Arena Sabalenka. Sabalenka began playing tennis at the age of six and became a professional in 2015. She has improved significantly in recent years and is now regarded as one of the best players in the world. She won one major singles title at the 2023 Australian Open. In 2021, Sabalenka maintained her winning streak by taking first place in the WTA 1000 event in Miami, the Abu Dhabi Open, and the Madrid Open. She first reached the top of the WTA rankings because of her achievements in these competitions. Number 1. Iga Swiatek Iga Swiatek is a Polish professional tennis player who has taken the world by storm. At just 21 years old, Swiatek has already achieved remarkable feats in her career and has established herself as one of the top players on the WTA Tour. She has won the French Open in 2020 and 2022 and the US Open in 2022. Moreover, she defeated the best players like Simona Halep and Sofia Keenan throughout her incredible run. And throughout the competition, she showed exceptional composure and talent. Felix Auger Aliassime. This Canadian player is the third youngest player ranked in the top 10. Not only he has won four singles titles and one doubles title, but he was also the Canadian Press Athlete of the Year in 2022. The son of a tennis instructor, Felix started playing at a young age and possesses a strong serve. Number 9. Taylor Fritz With a career-high singles ranking of world number 5, Fritz is an American professional tennis player who has won five ATP Tour singles titles. He impressed the world by reaching the quarterfinals of the 2022 Wimbledon Championships and is currently ranked the number one American player. Number 8. Janik Sinner Next on our list is this Italian professional tennis player who has won seven ATP titles in singles and one in doubles. After turning pro, he worked hard to win titles and finally on November 2021, he became the first player born in the 2000s to enter the ATP Top 10. And the former world number one Roger Federer has praised Sinner with these words, What I like about him is that he almost has the same speed of shooting from the forehand and backhand. Number 7. Holger Rune Currently ranked as world number 7, Rune is a Danish player who has won four ATP Tour singles titles. After turning pro in 2020, he gave his best performance in a Grand Slam at the 2022 French Open, where he reached the quarterfinals in his main draw debut at the tournament. Interestingly, his idols growing up included Roger Federer and Rafael Nadal. Number 6. Audrey Rublev this Russian player has numerous titles to his name, including 13 ATP Tour singles titles and a Masters 1000 title, which he achieved at the 2023 Mutua Madrid Open with Karen Kachanov. He is also an Olympic gold medalist. Known for being an offensive baseliner, he entered his first ATP tournament back in 2015. Number 5. Stefanos Tsitsipas Stefanos Tsitsipas is a Greek professional tennis player. Tsitsipas started his professional career in 2016 and created a name for himself by taking home the victory in his maiden ATP Challenger Tour match. He also won the Marseille Open and reached the final of the Hamburg Open. In 2021, Tsitsipas won his second ATP Masters 1000 title at the Monte Carlo Masters, defeating Andrei Rublev in the final. Number 4. Kasper Ruud Kasper Ruud started playing tennis at a young age following in the footsteps of his father, Christian Rude, who was also a professional tennis player. Rude turned professional in 2016, and since then, he has steadily climbed the ATP rankings, breaking into the top 50 in 2019 and the top 10 in recent times. As of May 2023, he is ranked world number four in men's singles. Rude has already made history as the first Norwegian player to win an ATP Tour singles title which he achieved in February 2020 at the Argentina Open. He went on to win his second title at the 2021 Geneva Open, where he defeated top 10 players such as Denis Shapovalov and Pablo Carreno Busta. In addition to his success on the ATP Tour, Rude has also had a strong showing in international team competitions. His rise to the top of the ATP rankings has been a testament to his hard work and dedication. Number 3. Daniil Medvedev Daniil Medvedev is a Russian professional tennis player who is currently among the top players in the world. 
It is hard to overstate how impressive Medvedev's journey to the top of the ATP rankings has been. He spent several years competing in lower-level tournaments and rising the ranks after going pro in 2014. He has also spent 16 weeks at the world number one spot and during his career, he has won 19 ATP Tour singles titles. In the world of men's tennis, Carlos Alcaraz is a rising star who is renowned for his amazing talent and potential. He is only 20 years old, but he has already produced excellent results on the ATP Tour, and many experts believe he has a promising future ahead of him. He is currently ranked world number two by the ATP and has won 10 ATP Tour level singles titles. He became the youngest man to top the singles rankings after winning the 2022 US Open. Regardless of being young, Alcaraz has been compared to Rafael Nadal and Roger Federer, some of the greatest athletes to ever compete. Number one, Novak Djokovic. Novak Djokovic is considered one of the most successful tennis players of all time. Throughout his career, Djokovic has won numerous titles, including 22 Grand Slam men's singles titles and 38 Masters titles, and remained in the top spot for a record-breaking 387 weeks. Djokovic has ruled the ATP Tour for more than a decade, courtesy of his extraordinary athleticism, mental toughness, and unmatched work ethic. The ability to perform at an extremely high level under pressure is one of Djokovic's best abilities. He has won many games after facing match points or recovering from large leads. He is among the ATP Tour's fastest players, as he has a remarkable ability to move on the court and pick up shots that appear to be beyond his reach. On any surface, he is a lethal opponent due to this as well as his strong and accurate ground strokes. Inevitably in the comments section, someone will correct us and point out that Novak Djokovic is no longer ranked number one best male tennis player in the world. Obviously, we already know that. The rankings change all the time, and Djokovic lost prime position to Alcaraz after the 2023 Rome Masters. Nevertheless, he still features. But who knows? Djokovic may recapture the top spot if he is successful at Roland Garros. There are plenty of other excellent players willing and able to launch their own Grand Slam victory campaigns in the coming weeks and months. So let the intense competition begin. So this was all about the top 10 ATP and WTA players right now. If you found this interesting, don't forget to like and share the video. Also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.